What is up everybody? This is Michael from InspireYourSuccess.com and I'm actually going to show you seven ways to create an epic life today. I wrote a blog post about this last year and it was one of my most well received posts and it got a lot of people taking action in their life. So I want to show you the seven ways that I have been able to create a really, really fun, positive, uplifting, inspiring life for myself because I know that it will absolutely help you create the life you deserve. So number one is to identify your vision. I think most people go through life and they really don't have a clear vision for what they're trying to do. A lot of people just accept society's norms and really just go through the motions of life. And I really feel like I know that I personally have chose to live life and I know that if you're watching this video, you want to do the same. So spend some time and identify your vision. Figure out what you want. This might not take just one day or 30 minutes writing in a journal or, or talking to a significant other, but you really need to spend some time on it. Ask yourself that question. Ask it out loud. So that way your brain will understand like, okay, he's really trying to figure out or she's trying to figure out what, what am I trying to do with my life? Identifying a vision is so good because it's really your guiding light. It's who you are at the end of the day. It's what you're trying to achieve and, and really creating, a, I guess, a, a roadmap for what you want. And again, it doesn't have to be super specific and it will change over time. You might be 20 versus 50, it's gonna be different. But you really need to identify what it is that you are trying to, to achieve and who you want to be. The second thing that I recommend doing is to follow your passions in some sort. I'm not saying you need to quit your job to follow your passions like I did, but it is something that you should think about because at the end of the day, what's the point of going through life if you're just doing stuff that really doesn't motivate you? If you feel like you're just going through the motions again, you're just a zombie. And I don't want you to have that feeling of you know, just going through back and forth the same day every day, 40 years, you know, and then you retire or, or you're already you know, 40 and then you're, you're doing it for the next 20. I mean, you're really, it's never too late to change what you're doing you know there there are so many opportunities out there and I think if you follow your passion you'll find that other people share that passion for me it was golf golf was like a childhood passion I started at 10 years old and I gave up on it when I was 19 and I was in college and I, I, I've lost that passion and, and honestly I, my life probably wasn't as good from 19 to 28 because I really missed it something that I thought I didn't care about because I wasn't gonna be a professional at that time in college but something that I missed out on. So ask yourself when maybe you gave up on something. Maybe it was a sport. Maybe it was drawing or music or whatever it was. Just ask yourself, have you given up on something because you've gotten older? There's no need to give up on certain things just because you get older. Like, if you like playing video games and you're 45, if it's something you're passionate about, do it. Like, there's so many ways to find your passion, whether it's through your career or outside of work or creating a side hustle and a new income stream for it. Just do stuff you like because you're gonna you're gonna have better energy, you're gonna be a better person, your family, your friends. So follow things that excite you, that make you motivated. Like I'm excited filming this because this is something I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about helping people level up and create an awesome life. And you're gonna get more energy than you ever imagined when you're just doing mundane tasks that someone tells you to do, but instead following your passion in, at work or outside of work Whatever it is, but finding it will give you more energy than you knew you had in you. Number three is to set goals. With the vision is again, this is a broad sense of who you wanna become. And this is really more like a life's vision. But with setting goals, you need to have tangible steps and you need to have short-term, mid-term, long-term goals and know that they're gonna change. You know, I set goals when I was 25 that don't mean anything to me now at 30, but I was setting goals, I was setting myself up to achieve things. And I've found that if you set goals on a regular basis and you review them and you study them and you work towards them, you'll be surprised at how many you can actually achieve. I'm not saying you're gonna achieve every single goal you set. I wish it was that easy, but a lot of times they take a long time to play out. If you wanna be a best-selling author, your first book probably won't be it. Maybe it will if you have a huge following and you're able to leverage all your audience already, but if you're someone that just published your first book, it, it probably won't be, but it could. But just know that you need to set goals and you need to have them, short ones, so that way it keeps you motivated. 
mid ones so that way you know, you you know a little bit maybe a year down the road where you're trying to be what you're trying to achieve and then have long term goals i mean who do you want to be in 10 years who do you want to be in 20 years who do you want to be in 50 years think about these things because it's really going to affect your day to day decisions it's going to affect your motivation it's going to affect really how passionate you go through life if you don't have a clear target you're going to miss it every single time and most people don't have goals but I think there was a study that was like 90% of people don't actually set goals every year. And it's no surprise that the 10% that do are the ones that control a majority of the resources in the world. Successful people in business, in life, or wherever have understood that you have to set goals. You know, Tiger Woods didn't become the best athlete because he didn't have any goals. Or Michael Jordan or LeBron. Like, if all these athletes are setting goals, if all these rich people are setting goals, if all these people that are financially free... Are setting goals why aren't you you need to set goals and just spend some time on it if you don't you're just gonna you're gonna go through life and yeah you, you won't be disappointed but you won't be excited so I want you to live an epic life so you need to set some awesome goals number four is getting out of your comfort zone so many people are terrified of leaving their comfort zone this is a huge thing for me as well filming these videos has been a huge jump from my comfort zone Comfort zone is, is your brain's way of saying things are great. Don't screw it up. But you need to leave your comfort zone occasionally. Not every single day if you don't want. You can. But what you need to do is figure out how you can leave your comfort zone in a safe way, of course. But leaving your comfort zone is where you grow. You have to get comfortable being uncomfortable. If you do the same thing every day, day after day, week after week, month after month, you are probably not going to grow. You need to read new books, meet new people, go to new events. Like, just do anything to get out of your comfort zone. If you're terrified of public speaking, sign up for Toastmasters. If you're terrified of videos, start a YouTube channel. Like, you're just going to grow. And when you grow, you realize that over time, you keep getting out of your comfort zone, you keep pushing past failure, that anything is possible. So don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone. Number six is going to be making sure that you are earning enough money to create an epic life. Not to say that you can't make $40,000 and live an epic life, but the number one thing that a lot of people stress about is money. Money affects so much of us, and a lot of times if you're not trying to earn more, it's going to be hard if you want to do all these things, but you don't have the budget to do them. Because then you see all these goals that you set, and you think, well, I couldn't do it. Oh, I'll never make that much. But it's probably just a story you're telling yourself. There's so many ways to earn money now. And if you click on the blog post down below, I'll show you a bunch of different ways you can make money outside your job or even at your job, get it with different promotions and raises and you know all these other things. Like Figure out how you can make more money so you can live more. You can travel. You can buy your significant other something. Buy your family something. Like If you are earning more money, it does, again, not the key to happiness, but it can absolutely help get rid of the stresses of credit cards and student loan debt and buying a home or, or whatever your goals are, but you need to earn enough to where you can really feel like you can create the life that you want. And really the last thing to me to creating an epic life is choosing positivity. Most people are a negative, you know, and it's not anyone's fault. And, you know, again, not like really negative, but studies have shown that we have 70, 40 to 70,000 thoughts go through our head a day. 70% of those thoughts are negative. So a lot of times we're just fed negativity from our from our mind and sometimes that projects outward. And I think that's a lot of the reason people kind of settle sometimes in life is that they're, they're negative or pessimistic or whatever the term they use for themselves. But choose to be positive, choose to be uplifting, choose to be around people and you know, don't, don't you know, go and start complaining and joining the gossip or talking down to people or whatever it is. You see it all the time. But if you choose a positive attitude, if you choose to be a good human being, the world, I think, will reward you for it. And I really think that if you're positive, you're finding ways to give back and just help people, that I really feel like it's going to help you just be happy. I mean, I think one of the one of the oldest quotes is, if you want to be happy, help someone else. And it really, really helps. So if you want to create an epic life, I really think these are seven super solid ways to do it. Again, you can just start integrating some in your life. You can create your vision and set some goals on a weekend where you have off. 
but just try and find ways to do some of these or all of these and I really think your life will change because I personally used them and in 12 months I honestly don't even know my old life it, it was just it's so different and if you want that change or if you want a little bit of change just getting up one level two levels wherever you're trying just know that it's possible so put in the work on yourself and I promise you're gonna see the change that you want if you like this video, be sure to like it. It would really help me out. And if you want more of them and you want to see them consistently, be sure to subscribe. I am in a 100-day video YouTube challenge where I'm pumping out 100 awesome videos to help you create an awesome life with a group of people that are also doing the same thing. So I'm going to be pumping out a lot of great content, and I want you to not miss any. So be sure to subscribe. And if you like it, you want more updates, be sure to click on the blog post or follow me on social media below. Thank you so much, and I hope this helps you create an epic life.